okay, so we've learned a little bit about blocks, and let's see now if we can use what we've learned to um, figure out what our error is on this uh, program here. So I'm going to hit compile again, reached end of file while parsing, and I notice that this um, brace got highlighted here, and there's a there's also a brace highlighted here, which suggests that this brace matches with that one. Hmm. Well, let me see. Let me click on my question mark again. Reached end of file while parsing. So we got to the end of the file, and we were still parsing. That means the program's still trying to figure out what you want to happen, but... Um, it got to the end of the file before he's done reading the complete class definition. Hmm. So parsing just means, you know, the computer trying to figure out or, or the, the compiler trying to figure out what you mean by this um, class definition that you wrote. So it says this means you have opened a block using the open brace but not closed it with the closing brace. You might either have a opening brace where you don't need one or you've left out an opening brace, a closing brace where you do need one. Well, let's see. So we know since the class has to have an opening and a closing brace and every method has to have a opening and a closing brace, and every if block has to have an opening and a closing brace. So in every class definition that you write, you should have the same number of opening braces as you do closing braces. Let's just count them here. We have one, two, three opening braces, and we only have one, two closing braces. So the problem here is that we don't have enough closing braces. Okay? So he said the problem could be um, an extra opening brace or a missing closing brace. Um, so it looks like here, um, it looks like this brace matches this one, this brace matches this one, so we have a match for this brace, and we have a match for this brace, but we don't have a match for this one. So let's see, let's, let's, um, I'm going to, so I'm clicking right here, it's hard to see, I'm, if I click here, I'm going to click here and hit return and put in my brace and look at what happens, see that green bar that showed up? So now I have my, my class block nicely defined, it all shows up here and my method block inside that and my if block inside that. Things look a little funny though still because the braces aren't lined up. So I'm going to go to my edit menu and pick auto layout. And there that cleans things up a little bit for me. So now I can see, look at, I have a match there. I have a match. So this is my, um, my um, brace, my matching braces for my if block. Here's my matching braces for my method block, and here's my matching braces for my class block. So now if I hit compile, the compiler's happy, okay? Um, you might also want to play around and just see how else um, things can get messed up um, if you put braces in the wrong place. So um, another way we could get um, the same error that we got before, remember it said if you have an extra, um, sometimes if you have an extra opening brace, if we hit compile there, it, it gave a, it had the same problem because it's looking through the file to find that closing um, brace to match so that all the opening braces have to have a match. And it got to the end of the file and didn't find a closing brace, so it said reach the end while parsing. Okay, so it's the same error that we had before. There are other things that can happen, though, when your um, braces are in the wrong place. So, so for example, if we were to put an extra one here, that looks kind of funny. We have, uh, now this looks like all one big, notice how the block turned purple. 
So now we don't have a method block anymore. So what, what does it think this is? Let's, let's see. We hit compile. It says illegal start of expression. No help available on that one. So sometimes you, you might have a brace too many and it really can't help you. But you can see from this purple, you know you need to, for your method block, you need to have a yellow block there. And you can count your um, opening braces. If you go here, you see this one matches that brace. So all the braces are matched except this first one. So you get rid of that one, and now your colors all look good, and you can compile. Or if you're missing this brace, see what kind of an error you get there. There it says, oh, that's kind of almost helpful. It says that an opening brace is expected. So we can stick in an opening brace. Okay. So that's another way that you can um, come to understand blocks better is just try and get errors and see what kind of errors you get when when braces are are uh, messed up. All right. So that's that's all I have to say about um, blocks and, and braces for now.